we are at the Foundry Art Center in the main gallery. Right now we have Laura Berman's show Aggregates, Mandy Padigo's Inheritance, the Endurance of Land, and Allison Ouellette Kirby and Noah Kirby's Illuminations and Implications. One of the things that I really enjoy about putting these three shows together is that they are all three different media and different processes, but each process represented is very intricate and very technique driven and they're all about place and they're all about the viewers interaction between the piece and where they physically are and ideas about place. So when you walk into the gallery first you're going to come into Laura Berman's Aggregates. Uh, it's a really cool printmaking show. There's a lot of subtle surprises. Some are mono prints and some are mono prints that have been collaged together. So it's a really interesting way of experiencing and going through a print show. The main thing that may jump out at you when you first come into Laura's show is her use of color because she's layering the colors and using that layering and the shapes within that layering to bring out and create other colors or hues within the shapes, which is really cool. So as you walk through the gallery, the next show that you come through is Mandy Padigo's Inheritance, the Endurance of Land. This show is really interesting because there's a lot of uh, quilting, a lot of using thread as line making, and the concepts behind her work are all about a person's place within their genealogy, but also tying that to landscape, which is really cool. Some look like topographical maps with like rivers running through, but the whole show is about her place, the viewer's place within genealogy and how that's tied to landscape. And at the end of the gallery, you'll come up to Allison Ouellette Kirby and Noah Kirby's sculptures. And what's really cool about this is that most of them are interactive. There's little cranks and knobs that you can turn, and with that, parts of the sculptures move, and you may notice as you come in that the end of the gallery is very dark. Well, in addition to the movement and the interaction, shadows play an extremely important part of the experience of their show. And so having the viewer interact and create these shadows that move around on the wall and have that one-to-one -one with the sculptures is a really great conceptual layer. So the Foundry is really excited to have these four regional artists come in uh, because I think it's important to showcase to St. Charles, St. Louis County, the metro area, that we have such great internationally showing artists in our area. And I think um, this is a show that, that really highlights that. These exhibits are up through November 19th. If you'd like some more information on these and future exhibits, please visit foundryartcenter.org.